Hello and welcome to this short comparison of QGIS versus um, ArcGIS Pro. So there was some beef on Twitter and some other accounts where, where they compared QGIS to ArcGIS in terms of the performance of each software. What I will use here, I will use the long-term release from QGIS. We will use some data from Quebec. It is downloaded from um, Geofabric, so it's OSM data. We will take care of the uh, street folder or street data. So let's go there and just prepare the test. There's the roads layer. It is a shapefile, so quite a common format. We will copy it to a new location just to make sure that there is no, I don't know, like buffering on the application or whatsoever and uh, so we will take the care of this um this is now the data set i will fire up um qgis uh, as you can see qgis desktop 3.10 we will use this one <coughs> so i'll make this window a little bit smaller just to make sure that you can see what's going on i will also remove all the not used application of course i need to sh share my screen here and i will um I have only open the qgis program and the resource monitor with an overview of the cpu usage so what i will do now i will create a new project i will select to import the data set so go to downloads let's go with home Go to download. There's already the QGIS OSM roads free shape. <clears throat> so this is now loaded. It's already loaded. We have approximately 500,000 uh, features here. 512,925. So what I will do now, and I will, yeah, it will be hard for me to to really um, make this visible to you but i will try to add an counter in the in the bottom in the end so let's open up the attribute table there's the attribute table i will go to the tab view and i will create a selection by attributes and the selection will be name like Preston. So it searches for the string Preston. We will select features. We will close this, close this. Now he has 13 matching features found and you can still see all the data is visible in QGIS. And now we'll say, well, go to zoom to selection. And there we are, all right? So it was instantaneously like this. Um, so now let's switch over to ArcGIS Pro. So this is now a fresh copy of uh, ArcGIS Pro version number 2.6. Nothing in there. I've just unchecked the topographic map parameters and let's open up the Explorer again. Go to the download section here. I'll make a fresh copy of the data as well. And I will use this fresh copy of data to ArcGIS Pro. So let's load this. Data loading has finished. Let's open up the attribute table. This is seems much faster than in Arc than in Q or compared to QGIS, but let's keep in mind I do think that this is some sort of lazy loading because it's scanning rows once I'm scrolling, so I don't know whether it really fetches all the data right up front. So let's select by attributes. Yeah, let's create a new selection, new expression, and the name should be or contain the text Preston. Let's click on OK. Let's create the data. Data is fetched and let's zoom to the features. There they are. Now the image is rebuilding.
and there it is. So, um, as a summary, I don't see such a such an, an, an I don't know a big difference between the two two uh, two software projects. But you need to keep in mind you you need to check for the stable versions. If you're going to latest release or even better versions, you will not play around with ArcGIS Alpha uh, on your local PC because this is then taking part of the company side. So they're making their QS and st stuff like that, they're making extensive testing on the software. And the same applies to QGIS. So if you would like to have the most stable version where most of the bugs are fixed already, go with the long term releases, and this time 3.10. Uh, but I have to acknowledge that the shapefile loading process in terms of the attribute table took much longer and was non-responsive uh, in QGIS uh, compared to ArcGIS Pro. But this comes with the, with a burden, or I suppose, that the attribute table is loaded here not once at all. Uh, it is loaded with some uh, some lazy loading process, so it's scanning the data. Uh, and only shows you exactly the data set you are interested right at the moment of viewing. So there's still some connection to the data every time I search here. But this is just as an assumption, once again, uh, in terms of zoom to selection processes, ArcGIS performed fairly the same way like QGIS 3.10. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and goodbye.